On April 20th, Michigan State Police tell us the 22-year-old, who is nonverbal and has special needs, was spotted on a bus with her mother, Angela Crute, and another unidentified woman. Authorities tell us the group got off the bus, walked behind Kalamazoo Valley Community College, and into the Al Sabo Land Preserve. A maintenance worker who grew suspicious after talking to Angela called police. Officers looked for the group but never found them. Nearly 12 hours later, a hiker found Takai alone in the woods with no ID. We as a family have a lot of questions. Michigan troopers are trying to track down Takai's mother, Angela, who is from Richmond and is believed to be back in the area. Life happens, things change. You could have called us. Our address is the same. Our phone numbers are the same. So there's no reason to me not knowing her, the answers. In my head, based on what we have now, there's no justifiable reason for the for what happened. Nikisha is working to get custody of Takai as the search continues for Angela. It didn't have to result to this. At the same time, if your life is in jeopardy and you did this as a way to save her, step up and, and, and say that, you know, because this is too many unanswered questions and at the end of the day, you're the only one with the answers. Michigan troopers also tell me they plan to file vulnerable adult abuse charges against Angela once their investigation is complete. Live and on your side in Richmond this evening, Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News. Turning now to your